Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. Today I just saw a terrific video by Marissa Peer, who you guys all know that I highly regard and she is sensational when it comes to such beautiful messages about knowing that you're enough, knowing that everything that you have to offer has value. And she just did this video. Please go watch it, you guys. It's called Three Secrets to Lifelong Happiness. And it's Marissa Peer, P-E-E-R. And she just released the video and it just put me in the best frame of mind and instilled in me to want to do a really beautiful um, ambiance filled read for you guys. I have all the all, it's all tricked out here. I have every kind of stone that I wanted. I filled my dish. I got my candle. I'm burning incense. I got my chalice, my hamsa, every conceivable stone that helps me in this. And I really just wanted to set the tone for a beautiful, restful, full moon read that lets you guys know that, you know, where is your happy? I can't believe how simple sometimes the premises is for where we can find our happiness. And I just want to state for one minute quickly what this is about. It's also going to be, you know, what's coming in for you with this full moon. But I want to do two things for you guys because I want to show my gratitude for you. And with most full and new moons, I try to clear my decks and get everything done so I can offer specials for you. Now, this is probably the only time I'm going to be able to do something like this because I have completed my workload. Now, what I'm going to do today and tomorrow, the offers for today and tomorrow, I am going to do a full 20 minute video read for whoever would like this. And I'm going to do it tomorrow on the full moon and it'll take a little while, like a day or two to upload and download all of them. But what I'm going to do is for $33 and 33 cents, it is going to be your full moon special and you'll get a full 20 minute video read private read on whatever subject matters you want as you know you hit the link below you go down there you choose my email you go on my email hello my name is so-and-so here are my questions and then you paypal 3333 when it's sent today and tomorrow i'm going to know what it's for you don't have to specify i wanted to do this because i had a lot of people dm me down on instagram going melanie my life is really hard right now i'm really struggling i really would like a private read but it's not you know i wish it was something that i could afford for under 40 dollars and i'm noticing that there is a price point for certain people where it gets a little too expensive that's why i'm doing this and i'm so excited because i feel really in touch with all the higher vibrations that are helping me formulate plans, ideas, and blueprints for people to work through these issues. And they are sending me exactly what I need when I need it. For instance, Marissa Pierce's video this morning, These Three Secrets to Lifelong Happiness. Please go see this. The whole premise is, the, is that happiness is right now that oftentimes people say, you know, I'll be happy when I get to my vacation destination. I'll be happy when my child's in preschool. I'll be happy when I'm in a relationship. The thing that happens happens with that is we're placing happiness away from us as a destination instead of something that we have right now. Why wouldn't you be happy in the airport looking at all the fun, awesome people going to places, being excited? Why wouldn't you be happy with your child at home right now when you get to savor that time? Why wouldn't you be happy with your time alone? in a fun one-on-one -on -one relationship with yourself doing and being exactly as you want. You know what I mean? It's all about where is your happy? Your happy should always just be residing within you, right? It's not a place or a point that's far off on a chart. It should be with you. Sorry to take a sip of coffee because I'm my new thing is going to be your breakfast one where every day between 9 and 10 I'm able to upload a video for you because I like to watch my favorite readers when I first wake up. So right it's not our kid's job or our mate's job or our life path purpose job to um, create happiness for us. It simply enhances our life, creating more happiness. You know what I mean? So when you watch this video, your heart will be at such ease. So really, really go watch this. It's so wonderful. So that is my sort of um, public service announcement because I want you all lifted and happy and bright because it did that for me. And I was like, in a wonderful mood. So I'm going to choose your cards for you and you'll have a three card spread. Do, 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 do. And we're going to see like what is coming in for you. I might have to zoom out a little bit. I think I'm just going to back up a little bit and zoom out a tiny bit. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard. Like usually I set up with the cards, but I wanted you to see the altar. I got so excited. Um, it was really about just ushering in this new light bright happy phase that's coming in for you guys and part of that is recognizing that your happy is with you and i'm not kidding you this is the card that got pulled this morning 
for um, my Instagram. Please come see me on Instagram. It's sparkrist11. I run specials, contests, and all these wonderful things. Um, you guys, honestly, there's so much magic coming in for you. I can't even begin to let you know that when we understand that happiness is everywhere, you know, it is not a destination. It's here with us. This made me happy. Does this not make you happy when you just slow down and focus on your screen right now? Look at these colors, the richness, the candle, the stones. I wanted to create a really robust, happy magic energy for this read because I feel like I saw another thing that propelled me in this direction this morning. And he is one of my absolute favorite readers too, um, Gregory Scott. And he was talking about what this full Aquarius moon is doing is it's ushering in a state of us all being together, living in this wonderful um, part of a community, a larger part. It's not about what we want, what we want individually, but what we know if one person decided to help one other person in any way, shape or form, spiritually giving them a ride, doing something, a one-on-one, -on -one, each person was matched up with someone on the earth that could help them. And then in a couple days later, it was switched around when that person needed a hand. How wonderful would that be for each person to be able to give and receive love and affection and help? It would change the world, right? So why aren't we doing that? Why aren't we stepping in, in, into this humanitarianism? We're there's this paradigm shift and that's happening with this full moon that is moving towards us, this age of Aquarius, of people getting in a wonderful habit of helping other people respectfully, lovingly, caringly, and changing the actual structure, like life structure, you know, like into a beautiful, giving, loving planet where we're watching our resources, where we're caring for the planet, for animals, for all of these things. You know that, so I'm done like going on and on about that, but I just felt so compelled and I'm almost like brought to tears because the energy is so strong within me to want to be able to help and heal. It's one of the reasons I'm, I'm doing this offer as well. I, I know people are struggling. I feel it. I get dozens and hundreds of messages, you know, throughout the week about that. School is about to begin, um, new changes and people have anxiety and struggles and I really want to be available to help find some answers for that. And I feel like it, there's a profound... Um, channeling energy right now for this. So we're going to begin. We have three cards to choose from. We have Shatki, which is transformation. We have Laksh Lakshmi, which is fortune. I love that's one of my favorite goddesses. And Aphrodite, romantic love, because I do feel like a huge portal of romantic love is opening for a lot of you in really profound ways. And I'm very excited. So excuse me for one sec. I'm going to get my decks over here. All right, I'm going to use this. I haven't used this in a while and I like this. So I'm going to go pure tarot for first of all. So for the first group, if you chose this, I feel like you're ready to transform. I feel like you're ready to go from isolation into communication, to go out there in the world and communicate with people and be with them. That should be part of your full moon legacy. I want you to write down everybody. I always say to go out and, and program your crystals, program your consciousness to go out there and make these divisive changes that will help you in such substantial ways. It could be just going for walks, keeping your head up out of your phone, saying hello to people and connecting with them in that way. Okay. Wow. This is amazing. So we have King of Swords. We have Page of Cups. I'm loving this. And we have Knight of Swords energy. So let me just absorb this for a moment. I love these colors all together. Sometimes I tuck my decks away because I want them to be like off the grid and then they're new and fresh for me and for you as well. I like to rotate them. Now we're gonna see too. I'm gonna get some of these because I love these. More goddesses. Doo -doo -doo. One sec. I have my deck on the side of me and I have noticed when I turn my head away from the microphone or get too close, it fluctuates and it sounds really crazy. So I'm gonna be careful not to do that. Okay, so right away, I'm hearing that with some of these shifts and understanding that's going to be taking place with you, that you're absolutely going to be living a living and leaving a positive legacy. This new moon is going to flip it around for you about how you can turn your beautiful, warm, wonderful world in 
a contribution to the collective, to other people, to be able to share with others and make their lives better, which in turn makes yours better. That happens to me every single day. If I'm out at the supermarket and I'm like, you know what, my son, daughter, neighbor, whoever would love these flowers, this plant, this fresh fruit as a surprise, and I pick it up and that makes my day. Oftentimes people think receiving is where the gift is. It's not, it's in the giving. It lifts us. The fact that we can make a difference in someone else's day, week, world, because of some offering we gave them is tremendous. For example, we lots of times, if we're given any wishes, like Tony Robinson said that one group said that they wish they had millions of dollars. They don't want millions of dollars because they want a bunch of green paper or colorful English paper with dead presidents and royals on it, right? That's not what they want. What they're asking for is a feeling that can come along with this. And that feeling is choice, opportunities to give, to receive, to expand, to travel, all of those things, right? And this is what's coming for you with this Knight of Swords. You're ready to go out in the world. You're ready to have a greater understanding of things, to meet new people, to get new ideas, to be more creative. I feel like a lot of you are already quite amazing creative people and you want to go out and you want to put your offerings out there to get it on social media for other people to see it because they are going to respond to this in such a way you can't believe. Part of this Aquarius moon is people stepping back from just, you know, product hell, from a bunch of junk that is created and like is mass produced. People want individual artistry. So people that are offering that are going to be very successful in this new Aquarian moon cycle. People want individual artistry. They want something that somebody created from love with their bare hands. And this King of Swords energy is going to give you the direction, the self-value and worth that you need to do this. You know, the compunction to create because you know it's something of value and worth to the world where before you might have second guessed your talents and what you have to offer. Absolutely don't. You know, it's a time of downloading information that we are part of this beautiful collective and we want to share our gifts and people want to receive them. And it's a potent, beautiful time for you. I'm going to pull you a, there's so much information that's coming through my head right now. It's, it's hilarious. It's like, oh my gosh, this came up yesterday too. Milk and honey. It is absolutely time of milk and honey for you to re, for you to receive and reap massive of rewards and awards and accolades for what you have to offer. People going, oh my God, how did I not know you had this skill set? Marianne, how did I not know this? And you're like, I'm sorry. It's just one of those things where I didn't want to, I didn't think it was ready. That's a lot of you are thinking you're not ready. Guess what? You are ready. The altar is ready. Get up there, serve it up. And people are going to lap it up. They are going to love it. And, and you know, all it takes is for you to just say, here it is world. So please do that group one, please do that. Beautiful. And don't forget, take advantage of this special that I'm offering because I'm so excited. I feel so many good things and it's like, I just can't even, and I want to contribute to this phase as well. And so, yeah, I'm telling you, go take advantage of this. All my links are down below. And anytime come see me over on Instagram or Instago too, and just be like, Mel, I'm going through this because I really feel like this is the age for people to be enlightened and realize that everything that they have to offer is of value and is miraculous. And this phase is welcoming of it. This moon phase, this cycle that we're going through is so welcome for individuality and authenticity that it's so beautiful. I can't, I've got to slow my roll because I'm legit getting choked up. It's very exciting. So now we're on to, to a Lakshmi. Now this is fortune. I feel like your fortunes are also turning in this group. I feel like things that you have been thinking about. Oh, all these cards just popped out. Let me grab them. I don't know what is with temperance. That has been flying out in every read. It is remarkable. So again, see people being revered and getting accolades. Let me finish shuffling because all these things are falling out everywhere. I knew this. I was like, this has to come up because I feel like there is something to do with keys and you finding the keys. And I very, I love turquoise and like a third of my um, stuff in my store is turquoise, but I very rarely wear it. Like, I, and I feel now it's such a grounding, earthy, beautiful stone that it's like I'm very compelled towards turquoise. I feel like there's a lovely phase of this. It's very protective. And this has to do with the Hierophant. This gives us the keys to how to protect ourselves, protect our ideas, to go out in the world, feel shielded, feel guided, 
feel, um, you know, replenished, renewed, and like we're on the right path. A co it's like a constant reminder, you're doing well, you're doing the right thing, and that there is no right choice or right path. It is what we do when we get on that path and make that choice, right? And because of that, and you having worked in accordance with your true integrity, your true intuition telling you where to go, people are going to recognize this. They're going to be revering you for your offerings, for what you're doing, for who you are. Your general, uh, uh, your genuine original self is going to just be sparkling so light that it's like so influential for other people. They want to listen to you. They want to follow you. They want to be near you next to you because you're legit just beaming this great, um, understanding and loving energy and it's very very magnetic so just get used to that it's not like people are trying to pester you or bother you they just want some of your beautiful bright light and warmth that you're emitting so just get used to that we all go through phases where we're very helpful for one another we're very loving giving caring kind and all encompassing all of those beautiful integral parts where we are beautiful hooked up energetic mass and you're reverberating good energy and healing energy so just go with that and be like yeah say yes to whatever you want it is your time and I love this temperance you're also going to learn to be able to say no when you need to rest and you need to recuperate I feel like swimming in the ocean and walking in the forest is going to be very reflective and healing for you right now I also feel like you have um this beautiful um this energy right here, this was, I just grabbed that and I was like, Freya, radical acceptance. You're accepting the fact that you know you're a healer. You're intrinsically healing other people. People are attracted to you. You can do this. Your happiness resides within you right now. You're not chasing it. All those other things, you know, oh, some new tarot decks, some whatever gems, um, extra friends, a boyfriend, a life mate, all those things are wonderful, but they're only enhancers. They are not the source of your happiness. They're only going to enhance what you've already created, which is inner happiness and joy. You you found the keys to that simply by reaching for it creating something this made me so happy this colorful layout as I was setting up I was getting so happy and smiling I'm like I love artistry and creation and photography and words and all of those things so that's how I create my joy how do you create yours you're defining right you're defining that right now in a very spectacular way and people are like hello can we worship at your altar of awesomeness and you're like you may you really may <laughs> you know what I mean like it's those things I said in yesterday's video that I went out to TJ Maxx and I bought this really cool stuff and it looks like um, I'm actually I'm it's within reach so excuse me for one sec okay it was like on the edge of my counter but it is this stuff and look what it looks like okay it's called clinical works I'm not paid by any of these people it's something I bought for myself and it looks like a cellular complex almost like right it's amazing so the guy at the counter goes oh my god what is that he goes what does that do and how can I get some and I was like well basically fairies pop out of the bottle and they slather you from head to toe and then you're a unicorn he's like I need to see that but you know what I mean these interactions that make us happy and connected to other human beings and we get to be silly and fun over things and that's what you're doing you're reconnecting and reforming bonds with friends as well that I feel like you're like hey I don't want this to just slip away this poor this person is important this porpoise this porpoise is really important to me this person has purpose and is very important to me so I want to reconnect and you're going to realign with all these things that create beauty and magic in your world and I love that for you gorgeous gorgeous energy I love that group one. Yeah, you're just radically accepting that it's your time and you're going to shine and you're going to do it. And I love that for you. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to press like and subscribe. And please, if you just skipped over the intro, I'm doing a one time offer today and tomorrow for 3333, a full 20 minute video read. I'm doing it for the full moon because I really want people to understand the power and energy that's going to be allotted to them with this full moon. If they just do a few certain steps, they take an envisionment process, they start to do a few certain things that it can really change so many aspects of your world. So take advantage of it. When people send that through, I know what it's for because everything is dated. So really do that. Really have this acceptance. I do this every day. I'm like, I'm happy where I am with what I have and what I'm doing. And that creates a kind of magic, right? What are you doing? Make it your best. Do it. Really put your whole effort into it, right? Like when I was making this Hamsa, it was so funny. I had all these little owl charms and I was like, this needs owl charms. And I got so ridiculously excited like a like a five-year-old because I got to add like these little fun owls in there and they added to the color. And it's things like that where we get happy like a child does about color, about 
information about creation and you're really into that and I love it so beautiful energy group too so now I'm gonna just breathe for a moment because I realize that emotions are contagious and and so oftentimes when I'm listening to certain readers they speed up and I almost get like an increased heart rate because I get excited too but I really am trying to formulate my channel as a place of relaxation and relaxing messages so and it's funny I've had so many people say Melanie you sound like Cher only slightly different like that kind of you know confidence um, continual verbiage type of thing and I was like that's very nice because I'm very affected by voices I can't listen to high pitch very fast voices for very long it creates stress in me so I really try to speak slower and I'm going to do that for you guys because I also realize that you're from all over the world okay so I will make a concerted effort and if any of you guys ever want to comment you know Melanie you are a little faster in this video I'm gonna you know do my practice it's because I'm channeling quickly and I'm excited and I, I want that contagion to come through but I also want you to be in a restful calm place as well so I will mind my speed with that <laughs> okay so now we're on to Aphrodite and romantic love now this is quite neat because I do feel I'm just shuffling while I'm talking I do feel that a lot of you do have amazing soulmate energy coming in it has been your time it is your time for this it is like you know you just you've done the work you've done the preparation you've done um let's see what we got here oh my lord I, I never do reversals I don't I don't um work in that sphere it's too I I believe <clears throat> one second I have incense I need to take a sip of water <laughs> this incense is choking me <clears throat> I am so hilarious that right when the mood struck me I was like get the altar ready I started lighting my candles and all my stuff and I um my system likes fresh air it doesn't like too much <laughs> smoke so I was literally choking myself out <laughs> so I need to calm down and when I just saw these cards I stopped breathing because they're insane <laughs> holy holy cow group three I don't even know what to say I don't even know how to title this video anymore with this it should just be group three how's that sound you guys you're ready you are you are ready to fully encompass all the love that is coming your way in terms of groups, in terms of family, in terms of workmate, in terms of a new lover, a soulmate, and you are so concise in what you want now, and you are so discerning, and you have such a level playing field, and you have the Hubble telescope that is zooming in on what you want precisely. You no longer have this vague idea. You're like, no, you know what? I've settled, and I've settled in my life, and I've put up with, and I have diminished what I really wanted for other people no longer I am co I am coming out of the gate as winner winner chicken dinner I am not going to settle saddle in my tea kettle I need what I need now because I am a value I am worth this I put in the time the effort I'm such you know you are such an amazing catch and you're starting to realize this you're realizing that you know knowledge is important going with the flow is important co-creating with other people you don't have you need to be nurtured as much as you're nurturing you need to have a sense of independence but be loved all these things these parameters you're now being much more expansive but decisive you know and now because you know these things are coming in they are just washing up on your shore you have decided now love has collided. It's like everything is going in rhymes in my head now. Your love is coming in. It is substantial. It is amazing. It is strong. And this is funny. This was in the bottom of the deck. Of course it was because of this moon. I'm just going to place it right there. This moon is so about anything Aquarian is about balance, love, justice, caring, the flowing of um, the ebb and flow of emotions and connectivity and all of these things. And you're just in tune with it. You're ready for joy. You're ready to receive it. You're not doubting. You're realizing that when fear, fear or doubt or anything comes in, it is vital that you recognize that it is simply a temporary situation and it's going to evacuate your head in a moment. So don't let it become a sink or swim thing. Don't let that molehill become a mountain. And at any time we can pivot and go, you know what? No, I'm looking for joy. I'm looking to make a colorful altar. I'm looking to step out into the sunshine. I'm going for a swim. I'm going to go adopt a lizard or whatever. I feel like some of you guys want a lizard. I don't know why that came in my head or some kind of little critter. You want to go to PetSmart and get yourself some 
some cute little hobgoblin to call your own. It's your time to go out and create these beautiful little moments of joy and know that, again, happiness is not a destination. It is with you. It's residing within you. And you're like, everything else is an enhancement. That's all it is. It's just an enhancement, bringing everything lighter and brighter. But I already have what I want and what I need. Therefore, all of this comes to you. The great inspirations, the love the soulmate, the intuition, the great decision-making processes, all of it, it's here for you. And that's, that's all that needs saying for you, group three, because it is all here. Beautiful. So, wow. You know, and I just, this was on the bottom of the goddess deck knowledge. That's what it's about. Your inner knowledge that you know who you are, you know, your worth, you know, your journey is to just explicitly savor everything and seek joy in all things and it's arriving for you so i'm very excited so love and light to you guys take advantage of this full moon read 33 33 i'm probably only going to do this once i was like certifiably clearing all the decks so i was able to do this and this morning i was like debating should i do this because sometimes there's such an onslaught. But you know what? I feel like my guides and my angels and my spirits always give me what I can handle. And I feel literally like I could run marathons today. I have the inspiration. I have the capabilities, the joy. I feel so good. I literally feel like, you know, like I have... I don't know, like I took, like I drank Red Bulls and, and, and I haven't, I'm simply just like high on life. And because everything's falling into place, people were like DMing me all over Melanie, really wish I could afford to read this and that. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to make it affordable. This is, you know, for people that are students and things like that, let's do this. And so I'm very excited. So if you want more details on this, all my links are down below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And thank you for coming to see me. My name is Melanie Williams. And, um, this is my pride and joy doing things like this. I just feel really happy today and light, bright and good. So I, that, I love to do private reads when I feel like this because I feel galvanized to really pull out the essence that people need. And all my links are down below for everything. So love and light to you guys. I'm going to go upload. Woo!